Hey guys, welcome back to an Excel Blogger and in this video, I want to show you how you can use the site push transition in VSTC free video editor. Now, site push is actually part of the push transition and you can use it to create really interesting transition effects for your video. So how you can do that, that's what I will show you in this particular video. Now, as you can see, I've already imported my demo video in the editor and let me just quickly play this video for you. So I won't be applying the side push transition to this video because I just wanted to play something on the background and that is why I downloaded and imported this video. Rather, I will be using the sprite object to demonstrate the side push transition. So without further delay, go to add object and click on sprite and then click on OK. Now mark your sprite object right at the top of the screen like this. And now we will make a couple of changes to our sprite object. So click on the sprite object and look inside the sprite object settings, which is present inside the properties window. And um, as you can see, the show effects option is currently set to no. So click on this drop down list and select yes. And I also would like to change the color, which is present inside my sprite object. So the color currently is black. So you will find this color option right here. So click on this drop down, uh, click on this three dots, which is present on the extreme right. And um, let me just select this color and click on OK. Now what I really want to do is I want to add or write some text inside my sprite. So for that, double click on the sprite object and then go to add object, go to text, click on text and then click on OK. Now mark your text object inside the sprite like this and then click on this button right here which says set the same size as the parent has. So I will be using a couple of images of Cristiano Ronaldo to, to demonstrate the side push transition. So let me just write his name only Cristiano Ronaldo and let me just center align the text and uh, let's change the text color from white to black and the let's also change the font from Arial to impact and let's increase the font size from 60 pixels to somewhere around 150 pixels perfect now what I really want to do is I want to use the side push transition to push this entire sprite first from top to below and then from below to top. So at the start of my video, the sprite will appear on the screen from top to below. And at the end of my video, this, this sprite will disappear from the screen from below to top. And so to do that, go to video effects, go to transitions, select push and then click on OK. Now look inside the push settings, which is present inside the properties window. And as you can see, the first option is type, which is currently set to door. So click on this drop down list and select side. And inside the mode option, as you can see, currently the mode is right to left. So let me just change the mode from right to left to, to bottom to top. And uh, inside the transition levels option, as you can see, the values are 0 100 so reverse the values so from 0 100 write the values 100 semicolon 0 perfect now place your push transition right at the start of the video perfect now once again go to video effects go to transitions select push and then click on ok and uh, the type is already set to side mode is already set to bottom to top and inside the transition levels currently the values are 100 0 so reverse the values from 100 0 to 0 semicolon 100 perfect and now if i just quickly play the video for you from the start so notice what is happening on the screen so on the background my video is playing and the first sprite object which I created will appear on the screen from top to bottom and then at the end of the video it will disappear from the screen from bottom to top. So let me just quickly play the video for you. 
So here comes my sprite object which appeared on the screen from top to bottom and it will disappear from the screen from bottom to top as you can see right now. Perfect. Now the next thing which I would like to do is add images of Cristiano Ronaldo which I have with me. So we will create another sprite object. So go to add object, click on sprite and then click on OK. And let me just mark this second sprite object right below the first one like this. So on the top I have the name Cristiano Ronaldo and below I will show his image. So first of all I will make couple of changes. So I don't want this color inside the sprite. So you will find this fill background option inside the sprite object settings. So currently the fill background is set to yes. So change it from yes to no. So this color would go away and show effects is set to no. So change it from no to yes. Perfect. And uh, what I would like to do is I would like to decrease the duration of my second sprite object. As I said, um, or maybe I did not say, um, I have two images of Cristiano Ronaldo. So the first image will be in the second sprite object and the second image will be in the third sprite object which I will create later. So currently the duration of my second sprite object is 10 seconds. So let me just decrease the duration from 10 seconds to 5 seconds. Perfect. And now double click on the second sprite object which you just created and let me just import my first image of Cristiano Ronaldo. So let me just go to add object and let me just click on image and uh, I have my image of Cristiano Ronaldo in the downloads folder. So let me just select that and click on open and then click on OK. Perfect. Now again I need to add the side push transition. So go to video effects, go to transitions, select push and then click on OK. And we will make couple of changes inside the push settings. So type is already set to side and the mode is set to bottom to top. So I want to change the mode from bottom to top to top to bottom and transition levels inside transition levels. The value currently is 0 100. So reverse the values from 0 100 to 100 semicolon 0 and place the push transition right at the beginning like this. And now once again, go to video effects, go to transitions, select push and then click on OK. And um, inside the push settings, type is already set to side and the mode is already set to top to bottom. Um, inside the transition levels, the values are 100, 0. So reverse the values from 100, 0 to 0 semicolon 100 like this. Perfect. And so now if I just quickly play the whole video for you from the start, you will notice what is going on in the video. So first my text comes from top to bottom and my first image of Cristiano Ronaldo comes from bottom to top. So let me just quickly play the video for you once again from the start. So this is how my video is looking. My text comes from top to bottom and first image comes from bottom to top and at the end of five seconds my first image vanishes or disappears from top to bottom. So image appears from bottom to top and it disappears from top to bottom. And uh, now let me just place my cursor at five seconds and let me just add my third sprite object. So go to add object and click on sprite and then click on OK. Now let me just mark my third sprite object also below my first sprite object like this. And uh, you need to make couple of changes. So the only change which you need to make is inside this show effects option which is currently set to no. So select yes inside the show effects option and now what you need to do is double click on the third sprite object which you just created and uh, let me just import my second image of Cristiano Ronaldo. So let me just go to add object image and uh, let me just select my second image of Cristiano Ronaldo which is somewhere around here that's it and let me just click on open and once again click on OK 
and we will do the same thing we will we will apply the side push transition so go to video effects go to transitions select push and then click on ok and uh, now look inside the push settings which is present inside the properties window type is already set to side mode is already set to top to bottom and uh, transition levels is 0 100 the values are 0 100 so reverse the values from 0 100 to 100 0 and place the push transition right at the beginning like this and once again go to video effects go to transitions select push and then click on ok and um, type is set to side mode is top to bottom transition levels is 100 0 so reverse the values from 100 0 to 0 semicolon 100 perfect so finally let me just quickly play the whole video for you from the start and you will see all the things which we have done up till now so here comes my text and the first image of Cristiano then the first image goes away and the second image comes and at the end of my video both my text and image go away so this is how you can use the side push transition creatively to you know do new things in in your videos so that's it guys do share with me your thoughts in the coming section below um, like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see you in the next video till then thanks for watching